So good evening and welcome back to the channel once again. Carsmith loves travelling and sightseeing. So this is to announce that tomorrow, um, yet again, <laughs> I'm going to do another series at Peak Wildlife Park. Now you might be thinking, oh no, not again. But there's a reason. I've obviously now got the annual pass and I want to start it. Because I haven't started it yet, it's valid till next August, but I haven't actually started it by going to the park and using it. So, and the weather's supposed to be good, and with it now not being school holiday, it's going to be a lot quieter. There will be people up there, yeah, there might be little kids, toddlers, whatever. Because apparently Peak Wildlife Park have reintroduced the parent and toddler um, entry now as well. Um, so if you go on the website, peakwildlifepark.co.uk, it explains what that is. Um, but this is also an update because I've seen a colleague um, in the st in work tonight who used to work where I work. She works at Peak Wildlife Park, and she didn't disclose anything. But I just said to her, "Have you got? Are there any more new animals coming in?" And she just said, "Well, there is a few babies coming in soon, or a few new animals coming in, but I'm not allowed to say." So it got me a bit excited because I'm thinking, "Oh, that'll be interesting then." So okay, I don't know. What other animals are coming in? I may find out tomorrow. I may not. Um, but if there are, it will get announced on social media anyway. Um, or through an email I get. Um, so that's what she told me. So there obviously are a few more animals due to come into the park. I know when I went last time, a couple of times ago, they were on about moving the otters from opposite the bush dogs. When you, when you first go in after paying and whatever... The bush dogs are there on the right hand side when you go through that little path and then the otters are opposite. Well they're on about moving them to the enclosure next to the red pandas. So which may make space for something else. So whatever, this, and also there's plenty of space up there for future um, cages and enclosures. So especially near where the polar bears are and that cafe that's near there. So. Who knows what's coming, but that's what she told me, that there are a few babies coming in, a few animals. She didn't tell me what they were, because she's obviously been told not to say anything to customers anyway. Understandable, even though I do know from when she worked where I work. But, so we'll have to just wait and see. But I've decided to do another series at Peak Wildlife Park anyway, because obviously I'm going away in a couple of weeks. So this will be the last main series before I go away. So after... Peak Wildlife Park, there will, there will be videos going on my channel, but they will be like individual ones, which are basically just getting ready for me going away, like I did in the last one about the Dubrovnik Pass, because obviously I want to give an update on the channel as well, since I went last week to Chester Zoo in Shrewsbury, so that will be in another video, but for now this is for Peak Wildlife Park tomorrow, so I can start the annual pass, so I hope you look forward to the videos, I will obviously do a video when I'm there, um, so subscribe at Calls for 25 so thank you for watching and good evening.